Headshots get to be prepped. They get to be crafted, right? You're not just gonna show up with a suitcase of clothes and cross your fingers and hope for the best, right? I might've done that in the 90s, but it's not how we do things now. I wanna talk about five things you must do to nail your headshots. Hi there. Jody Bentley here, actor, brand strategist, and career coach. And today, so first of all, number one, you get to know your brand. And I know you've heard me talk about branding before, and it is the most empowering thing that you can do for your acting career is to know who you are and what you sell and how you are perceived and how you want to show up in the world and how that translates into the characters that you book and the characters that you want to be auditioning for and book. Because your headshot is your number one calling card for that. It is the first thing casting directors see, it's the first thing directors see is that photo. So it gets to scream of you and your essence and who you are. So number one, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please know your brand or you're going to be wasting time and money and energy. Second thing you must have, you get to know your prototypes and your looks. So once you know what you sell, you get to understand um, uh, the prototypes uh, of how that is reflected, how that is manifested. Um, you know, what kind of roles do you see in film and television and theater, whatever it is? What are those prototypes that you are modeling that look after? Because you're going to be crafting looks, right? I believe there's, you can craft about four looks. If you craft four looks, you're probably going to get about six to eight out of the shoot. So I always craft four looks with my clients. So you want to craft your looks and base them on prototypes. So that way you're targeting each headshot specifically to the roles that you want to get called in for. Third thing you must do to nail your headshots, please know your colors. It's so important to, to know your colors, to know what makes you pop. Um, to know what looks best on your skin tone, to know what's going to look best on your hair, with your eyes, to know what colors are going to resonate with the prototypes in the looks that you've crafted. Um, I remember I got a set of headshots way back when, um, when I was a redhead, and you know, redheads were green, green, of course, I'm going to take a headshot with green. And it just wasn't the right shade of green. And I loved this picture, but when you looked at the photo, you went right to my shirt and you didn't go to my eyes because it wasn't the right color. So it can be the best setup and the best shot and the best everything, but if anything is distracting from your face, that's not good. So that's why it's so important to know your colors because it draws the attention to the eyes and to your face. Fourth thing, know your wardrobe. So I just talked about prototypes and looks, right? You're gonna be crafting four different looks. You wanna know the prototypes that you're modeling it after. But then what is the wardrobe? I really urge you to craft the wardrobe, to build it out, to have different layers on and off that you can use uh, with, with that wardrobe. Know the cuts that look best on you, right? So that goes hand in hand with the colors. So you wanna know your wardrobe for each look. And of course you wanna collaborate with the photographer, but you gotta come with knowledge and clarity of who you are and what you're selling and bring the outfits that support that. And then you can ask their opinion on certain pieces or layers or what have you, but you get to know your wardrobe and craft your wardrobe for each look based on your prototypes, based on your brands, brand, thinking about your colors. And finally, the fifth thing to really nail your headshot shoot. Um, so many people, and God, myself included, I look back at old headshot sessions and they're so posy and I'm just trying to like hold my head and hold my chin and smile right? and everything looks static. And that is death in the headshot session, right? So you really want to be living and breathing and walking in the shoes of these prototypes and characters that you've created for the shoot. So I really believe with each look, you're creating a character, right? Which is an extension of you, an extension of who you are, but it's a role that you could play. So I really invite you to do that, to create a character for each look and really map out scenarios and what they are thinking. What is going through their head? What thoughts are they thinking? Because when you are looking down the barrel of that camera, I want you to be thinking thoughts. I want you to be thinking, you can trust me, or don't mess with me. 
right? Because whatever you're thinking is going to manifest on your face as opposed to, you can trust me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But that's what we do. We get stuck, right? Because we're and also the, the head chef photographer is like, oh, lift your chin, do this, do that. Right? So we get stuck in those moments. But if you can create your characters and have living, breathing thoughts, um, then there'll be movement in your shoot. There'll be, um, you'll just have more freedom in your shoot and there'll be more life in your shoot. <laughs> All right. These are my top five things you must do to nail your headshots. Let me know in the comments below what you think, which one um, you've done before that has worked for you, which one you never thought of before. Let me know. Um, Cause again, your headshot is your number one calling card in this industry. And most actors have good headshots, but we get to have great headshots. And these five things will separate you into that great pile. All right, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Bye.